Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Marin Health Integrative Wellness Center meditation class. I'm Corliss Chan and happy to be with you with you here for meditation. These meditation classes are free and open to everyone. Your family and friends can join us at www.mymarinhealth.org forward slash meditation. So here's our August schedule. Today, our meditation topic in the second half is going to be about mountains. We can envision a stately mountain range and connect with its strength to weather all seasons and changes. And we'll have class the following week on the 29th. And just a reminder, there's no class on Labor Day, September 5th. So we'll have meditation again on September 12th. And you can see all this information at mymarinhealth.org in the Integrative Wellness section under Programs and Services. In our next slide, you'll see that Marin Health also has a YouTube channel, and you'll be able to replay today's class and view past classes of meditation and Jin Shin Jitsu, which is where we practice using our hands and our breath to support our health. So we have a slide for that. And if you don't see the slide, you could just go to www.youtube.com and search Marin Health in the search bar, and then click on the Marin Health logo. Then find the Integrative Wellness Playlist. And you'll see the two red arrows at the bottom of your screen. So one is for the guided meditation and the other is for the Jin Shin Jitsu recordings. You can also click subscribe to be notified when new videos are uploaded for you to watch. So like I said, the title of today's second meditation um, is mountains. So in a few days, you'll be able to see or find it in the Marin Health YouTube playlist. So let's begin and find a comfortable place for yourself to rest during your meditation and hopefully where you won't be disturbed. Begin to focus inward. Placing your attention on your breathing. Feel how the breath is moving in and out of your body. Find a sense of ease and grounding. Breathe into any areas of tension to free up the body. As we breathe, we feel how our bodies are sustaining on the earth. Balance is gauged by how the breath is absorbed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Feel the deep relaxation into silence to rest your mind. Let your body absorb the breath. Feel the earth underneath you and the sky above you. Our head balancing right over the heart. Notice the background of silence behind any room or place where you currently are. Go within your body is fully supported by the earth. 
recognize that and drop into that. All your thoughts and ideas can relax. Just allow your relaxation to unfold. No need to force it. Relaxation is an invitation to your breath to flow easily and evenly throughout your body and mind. Just feel the breath within you. For thousands of years, meditation teachers have understood the breath to be the ruler of the mind and body. The breath affects the state of the mind and the chemistry of the body. By making your breath smooth and easy, you create a, a quiet mind. Our breath is what stills and quiets the mind so that meditation can take place. And relaxation is a fundamental aspect of breath. As you focus on your breathing, just follow the inhale and exhale. Thoughts and feelings may arise just notice them and let them go. As you continue to follow your breath, in meditation, we use our breath as an object of concentration. It also helps us to notice the mind wandering. Focusing on our breath begins to steady our mind. Meditation settles the wandering mind and allows it to be steady in the present moment. So just stay with your breathing. Not living in the future, the future moments and what we will do. Just be in this present moment. The thoughts arise, feelings arise. We can see them and let them go. We can connect with unconditional friendliness to life and to what arises within us. We can meet life with an openness, 
not grasping, not reacting. We can touch any phantoms that arise and let them go. We can connect with the vast open sky of the present. If our attention is drawn away from the breath, just return to the present and continue to breathe. Return to the, the present, to the heart and the spaciousness of this moment. Meditation is about opening and relaxing with whatever arises without picking and choosing, just opening to whatever arises. Like clouds in a big sky or waves in a vast sea, all our thoughts are given the space to appear. Whether we call them pleasant or unpleasant. There is room for it all. We have that loving capacity. Acknowledge whatever arises and let it dissolve back into a space as open and big as the sky. In meditation practice, we're making friends with our mind, with our thoughts and emotions. Like a crowd of friends and family all around you. Stay with a rising of thoughts and feelings. Maybe notice our fixed. Our thoughts come and go. See them in a fresh way. Meet your experience, whatever it may be, with warmth and curiosity. Stay with any discomfort. It's always available to be with yourself in a loving way. We cannot control the world around us. Meditation 
can help us with our reactions to the world. It's like listening. Meditation helps us find our way above the turbulence of daily life. Softening where we might be holding on or closing down. Being at peace with life as it is. We all have that capacity within us. Now in your mind, picture the most beautiful mountain or mountains you know or can imagine. A mountain whose form speaks personally to you. As you focus on the image or the feeling of the mountain in your mind's eye, Notice its overall shape, the lofty peak, the base rooted in the rock of the earth's crust, the steep or gently sloping sides, note as well how massive it is. How unmoving, how beautiful, whether seen from afar or up close. A beauty emanating from its unique signature of shape and form. And at the same time, embodying universal qualities of mountainness, transcending particular shape and form. Perhaps your mountain has snow at the top and trees at the lower slope. Perhaps it has one prominent peak. Peaks or a high plateau. However it appears, just sit and breathe with the image of this mountain. Observing it, noting its qualities. And when you feel ready, see if you can bring the mountain and its qualities into your own body so that your body resting in the mountain of the mind's eye become one. Your head becomes the lofty peak. Your shoulders and arms, the sides of the mountain. Your hips and legs, the solid base rooted to your cushion, the floor, or a chair. Experience in your body the sense of uplift, the axial elevated quality of the mountain deep in your own spine. Invite yourself 
to become a breathing mountain. And wavering in your stillness, completely what you are, beyond words and thought, a centered, rooted, and moving presence. Throughout the day, as the sun travels the sky, the mountain just are changing virtually moment to moment in the mountain's adamant stillness. Even the untrained eye can see changes by the hour. These evoke those masterpieces of Claude Monet, who had the genius to set up many easels and paint the life of his subjects hour by hour. As the light changes, as night follows day and day night, the mountain just sits, simply being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into one another. And as the weather changes moment by moment, and day by day. Calmness abiding all change. In the summer, there is no snow on the mountain, except perhaps for the very top when crag shielded from direct sunlight. In the fall, the mountain may display a coat of brilliant co fire colors. In winter, a blanket of snow and ice. In any season, mountain may at times find itself enshrouded in clouds or fog or pelted by freezing rain. The mountain, seen or unseen, in sun or clouds, broiling or frigid, just sits, being itself. Just like we sit, being ourselves in meditation. At times the mountain may be visited by violent storms, buffeted by snow and rain and winds of unthinkable magnitude. Through it all, the mountain sits, spring comes, the birds sing in the trees once again, leaves return to the trees which lost them. Flowers bloom in the high meadows and on the slopes. Streams overflow with water, waters of melting snow. The 
through it all, the mountain continues to sit, moved by the weather, by what happens on the surface, by the world of appearances. And as we meditate, holding this image of a mountain in our mind, we can embody the same unwavering stillness and rootedness in the face of everything that changes in our own lives over seconds, hours, and years. In our lives and in our meditation practice, we experience constantly the changing nature of mind and body and of the outer world. We may experience storms of varying intensity periods of light, vivid color. We may experience this in the outer world and in our own lives and minds. Buffeted by high winds and light, by cold and rain, we endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as savoring moments of joy and uplift. Even our appearance changes constantly. Just like the mountains, experiencing a weather and a weathering of its own. By becoming the mountain in our meditation, we can join strength. For our own. We can use the mountain's energies to support our efforts to encounter each moment with mindfulness, equanimity, and clarity. It may help us see that our thoughts and feelings, our preoccupations, emotional storms and crises, even the things that happen to us are much like the weather on the mountain. We tend to take it personally, but its strongest characteristic is impersonal. The weather of our own lives is not to be ignored or denied. It is to be encountered, honored, felt, and known for what it is, and held in high awareness. We come to know a deeper silence and stillness and wisdom more than we may have thought possible right within the storms. Mountains have this to teach us and more if we can come to listen.
while the mountain image can help us become more stable, human beings are far more interesting and complex than mountains. We are breathing, moving, dancing mountains. We can both simultaneously be unmoving and at the same time soft and gentle and flowing. We have a vast range of potential at our disposal. We can see and feel. We can know and understand. We can learn. We can grow. We can heal. especially if we learn to listen to the inner harmony of things and hold our inner central mountain access through thin and thicker situations. As we sit together in stillness, we can feel our collective strength as a mountain range, supporting all of us. Mountains do have a lot to teach us. To steady and calm the mind takes kindness and patience. As we gently train ourselves to become mindful of breath and body and life, we can see more clearly and become more balanced and more deeply present. We experience a unity of our body, spirit, and mind. Mindfulness meditation isn't directed to creating and holding some special state. It's learning to steady our attention on the present moment. Finding a wise and compassionate relationship to this organic change of body and heart and mind that we are. For the mind to become steady, settled in the present moment in the midst of so much change, it is helpful to develop a degree of stability that is called concentration. Concentration is the art of calming and steadying our attention. Like a candle flame in a windless place. Just continue to breathe. being who you are. Aware and awake to change like the weather. Today it's sunny, tomorrow it's cloudy. The day after, maybe it will rain. We're like that. We're part of nature. 
being who we are. So as we end our meditation for today, gradually gather together any images from your meditation. Gather together any impressions from your journey. You can bring them back with you when you return your attention to the outer world. So as you feel ready, you can open your eyes and come back to this day. Welcome back everyone. I hope the meditations were helpful. They were adapted from the works of John Kabat-Zinn, Jack Cornfield, Rodney Yee, and Pema Chodron. So just let these feelings of ease and reflection stay with you as long as you like. And I hope you'll use today's meditation to support your health, to support your mind, body, and spirit. And you can always return to your relaxing images of your personal mountains. So thank you so much for being here today. I always enjoy being with you. And thank you for being here to build our community and resilience wherever you are. So I hope you'll join me again for future meditations. And until next time, please stay safe, stay well, and have a good week.